Okay. I look like I've been put through a blender. <laughs> oh my gosh, hold You on. have been a whole country worth of blender. I know, it's so shaky. Okay, well, I don't know if that's any better. Pretty sure it's not. But we dropped off the kids at my mom's. We just unloaded really quickly, parked in. She lives in a retirement community here in the Austin area. Guys, it was such a long drive day. It got windy and all these things and stormy and raining and all the things. But we just got to the retirement community that my parents live in half the year. And now we're gonna go see the house that I bought without Ben seeing it. truth feels so good every time it starts Woo. well good morning today we are taking the RV from the parking lot that we've been storing it at for the last few days and we're bringing it over to a campground so we're gonna be there for probably the next week or so before we close in our house and get to actually move in so this is gonna be our next home uh, for the next little while Kids are gonna start school before we get into our house. It's gonna be, it's it's still just total mayhem with transitioning. And when I was pulling into the campsite here, the guy that I was checking in with was like, oh wow, you guys, uh, you guys got the best site in the whole place. This is not normally a site that's available. And we just booked it a couple weeks ago. So I wanna show you this though. Daddy, look, look, Daddy, I found a fossil. Morning, my friends. So we are at the Jim Hogg State Park. Wow. We've been here. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Careful. I can walk over him. We've been here for two weeks, and um, we haven't really filmed much because we've just been working on getting the house to close that we bought and getting the kids started in school, and we wanted to give them their privacy for that. So it's been mayhem, but we've loved it here. If you guys are looking for an amazing state park, this is it. It's in Georgetown, Texas. It's right on the Georgetown Lake and it's gorgeous. But some exciting news, our house officially closed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So here's a clip. Here's a clip of the kids seeing it for the very first time. Wipe your feet off on the mat. Oh. Hi guys. Merry Christmas. Welcome home. Can you find your room? Everybody's going straight upstairs. Go find your room. Go find your room. Go find your room. Go find your room. Go find your This is your room, Miller. Can I sleep in here tonight? No. Does this feel good to finally have a room? Yes, but I won't sleep in here. I should just leave that right there. That pumps now. Please. <laughs> That's right. They're already in Nana's house. They're already in the, in the cathedral. Are they over there? Kids are stoked! Yeah, so this is mommy and daddy's room. Yeah! 
And that's mommy and daddy's bathroom in. Toilet! What do you think? Miller, what do you think? I love it. What? Guys, and look. Okay, look in here. Look in here. This is the laundry room. Yeah. This will be your guys' bathroom. I have so much keys. Those are all daddy's keys. How's it feel, buddy? <laughs> I'm getting in too! Let's get in! Okay, Lawson, you can't touch, babe. I can't touch. He's on the stairs. Oh. You can go over there. <laughs> yeah! Miller, do you like our new house? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you like our new house? So we're gonna head there in a little bit, and we are, well I'm gonna head there right now, and we're going to start cleaning up. Our moving van is somewhere in America. Don't even know where, to be honest. It's not here, and it should be, which is pretty normal, I think, but it's not here, so that's great. But we're gonna move out of this spot today. This is our last day here at the Jim Hogue State Park and we're going to move the RV to the property so we'll show you guys all that and there's branches in the way and dips. We don't even know if we can get it on the property but we're gonna get it on the property so stay tuned. Let's head out. The previous owner made a nice path kind of through the side of the front yard to get big rigs in and out of here but it's been several years since I think anything like that has happened so I have a few branches I need to cut down. I've gotta get this done because we need to check out from our campground this afternoon, so I want to make sure that everything is ready to go before we have to take off. So ear I went, plugs. yes, earplugs. Th oh, thank you. <laughs> we don't have any of our stuff yet, so I had to go buy a chainsaw from Home Depot, and it was a really good excuse to buy a chainsaw. So I was pretty excited about that. It worked and out well. The old owner left us his ladder, so that works great. Yeah, and we happen to have a really nice big extension ladder to use. So let's get to work. Let's get dirty. Okay, that's all you guys get to see. Because I can't stand here and watch them do it. It's giving me a heart attack. So I'm gonna go inside with the camera. <laughs> ah! My husband on ladders is not my favorite thing. I'll come out and check on him in 10 minutes, but I'm definitely not gonna stand up there and watch him do that. So I can just have a heart attack. Okay, we are back here at the Jim Ho Hogue Hog State Park here in Georgetown, Texas. It's a it's so, come on lighting. Come on, there we go. We are back here at our campsite. Ben successfully cut down the leaves and branches without killing himself, so thank the Lord for that. And this site is gonna be missed, guys. The views here and swimming in the lake has been so fun. But I guess we're gonna have to switch to swimming in our pool. Weird. We already have camping booked in another week, so we're not gonna be out of this RV for long. Time to get busy and pack up. The time has come for the RV portion of our trip to Texas to come to an end. So it's time to go, we're all loaded up. We're headed to our new house. Well, it's just me. Everybody is either at school or at the house already, but it is time to get this RV over to the house. Hopefully we won't have any issues getting it back into its spot. So let's go. It's time to head out. Wrap it up. Boo! Oh no. Well, 
Well, we got problems. I just started to pull forward and several gallons of water just poured all over the place from the top of the slide. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Oh. Gosh. Well, we were hoping that this wouldn't happen. This has unfortunately happened before, where this thing is sitting here for a few days running the AC and it's dripping all the condensation from the air conditioner onto the slide and apparently pooling up there and when we put the slides in the gasket on the top of the slide does not do a very good job of sweeping that water off so we kind of checked it we thought there wasn't really any water on it based on the way that this all the water was dripping but I was wrong so now we just got a whole bucket of water dumped all over on the inside of the RV. Super fun. I don't even really know how I would get the water out either because there's a cover over top of the slide so I couldn't even get anything in there to push the water out. If any of you have had this experience, tell me about it and what did you do? Do I have to replace the gasket on top of the slide? Or what? Because this is a mess. And I'm guessing there's probably more up there. Oh my goodness. Still recording, right? Okay. Okay, I guess I need to shove a towel up there to try to soak up any water that slides back. Oh yeah, I still see a bunch of water up there. Holy cow. And of course, we've already taken all the towels out of here, except for this one. Uh, we've, we took them over to the house to wash them. So they're all at the house now, which is great. This is fine. We're fine. We're good. It's gonna be okay, right? Oh my, oh, it's still leaking down here like crazy. And I need to be checked out. It is past two o'clock. Check it is at two. And I'm still sitting here. This will definitely be, and I told you so. Oh, there's a towel. This will definitely be a I told you so moment from Becca. Because before she left, she was like, do you think there's a bunch of water on top of the slide? And I was like, kind of looked up there and I was like, no, it doesn't look like it. I think we'll be okay. Why is she always right? Don't tell her I said that, because I can't admit it. Okay, well, I got a bunch of towels down there to hopefully soak up anything else that could possibly fall down. I'm really glad that I installed waterproof floors in this RV, because if this is all still carpet, that would be a giant nasty mess. Okay, take two, let's get out of here. 20 minutes later. Also, don't let me forget to dump the tanks because last time I went to go dump, I totally spaced it. Don't let me forget.